everybody, welcome back, Falcon Convoy episode, who really cares at this point? All I know is that we have a side objective over here, which is um, purging the plague if I'm right. Nope, <laughs> I am still wrong. Um, as you could probably imagine if you've been uh, staying in tune with the the last two episodes, yeah, we're, um, at least Falcon isn't really there today, but still, I'm still playing because I'm trying to challenge myself apparently. Left for Dead, that's the one we're looking for. Let's go into it. You arrive at the tiny hamlet that rescued stranger described as his home. He gives you a great sigh of relief and thanks you profusely. Wait here, I'm sure I have something good in my home to reward you with. So, um, remember, this guy was kind of left for dead by the raiders. He was hung up somewhere and then we brought him to the medical bay, we healed him. And now we're dropping off home. Uh, you know, I, I would imagine it can't be that easy, but we'll find out. I mentioned I was an engineer, didn't I? Before I got kidnapped by the raiders, I was working on this project. Check it out. It turns out to be a shield generator. Thanks. That's a shield generator. F oh, and a oh, MK3. I'm so glad I did that. So what this means for us is that we could actually equip. I want to say that my two drones, the starting ones, are actually already equipped with um, shield MK3, but one of my other drones is not. I want to say it's probably Ashley. So. Um, if that's the case then, let's see here, we have Purging of Plague, which is 222 that way, Bottle Cap Recover, 278 that way, and then we have the final mission, which is the Flux Capacitor, bring it back home, and then fight the boss, which is 156 this way. So, let's do... We'll do Purging the Plague, but... Before we do that, since we just got this amazing shield, we might as well go to the camp over here and equip it. Alright, so, who needs this? Everybody has, um, you have MK3, MK3, Ashley, there you go. Oh, can you stack these? Can you really do that? Wow. So you have three and one. I mean, I could sell this for 22 scrap. Is that going to really do much for us? Probably not. Probably not at all. So you might as well just keep two shields on you for now, because we can. Hooey! Ha ha ha! So, everybody has shield MK3, other than our, you know, our convoy, but all of our units have shield MK3, which means a lot of more survivability for sure. Alrighty, so we continue going onward. I honestly feel at this point, I've been talking about it for a while now, but I feel this is the run. If I'm going to beat this game, it's got to be with this run. There's no other run that I'm going to be able to make it with. Several vehicles approach your convoy, they bear the unmistakable marks of local privateers. We're going to ready our weapons, because why not? I feel that we're properly equipped for anything at this point. So let's move you over here. We have shield, 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 no shield. Okay, let's go after shield over here. So we'll bring this down. Oh yeah, we have two EMP blasters now too. I'm actually excited to find what this does for us because what I'm thinking is that now we could actually um, not only bring a shield down in one turn, but also stun that same unit in the same turn. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and bring down, actually let's hold up on that one and bring one of these shields down and let's go ahead and just toss a mine over here. And then let's bring our shields up as well, why not? Boom. He's down. Drone over here is about to take some damage from a missile, let's move him out of the way if we can. There you go. Let's go ahead and bring down, let's say the shield over here. So boom, boom, and then boom. You guys move back. Perfect, there we go. We still have one more EMP ready to go. I thought we were shooting at it, this guy. Did we bring us down to shields naturally? I guess we probably did. Which is surprising to me. There you go, focus on him. Two units down, perfect. That's really easy now as a matter of fact. We have two EMP blasters ready to go. Let's go ahead and switch over our attack to this dude over here. And then you'll come down this way, focus on him. Focus on him. EMP blaster, use it now. Bring you forward, bring you down, there you go. And let's go ahead and, because we have an obstacle coming this way, let's go ahead and stun this guy if we can. Ah, he moved out of the way when we were kind of using the obstacle against him. That's fine. You might as well shoot him, but come down if you can. Alright, and you need to get into range. Oh, you never mind. You don't even have to move from when you're at, you're fine. We have some dead traps coming down this way, so we might as well bring you down this way. You over through here, you through this side, attack him. Boom, boom. 
just shake that rub. So we have a uh, EMP ready to go. We might as well stun him. And also hit him with the EMP. Boomski. No questions asked. If I don't beat the boss with this run, I'm going to be really upset with myself because I feel like we have all the makings of... I mean, we're, we're amazing against units. I'm not sure if we're amazing against bosses for sure, but I feel like against units, we're doing really good. 13 fuel, 35 scrap. We'll take the loot. Let's continue going forward here. So we have... 170 down that way. Bottle recover is still all the way straight up. Huh? So purging the plagues we're going for first. We'll come down through the road. Getting closer for sure, and definitely we can take a road over to this um, side objective, which is good. Is that the Mercury ship right there? I probably have to imagine it probably is, isn't it? If so, we need to avoid it. Yep, that's it. Nope. <laughs> Not right now, buddy. I mean, I'm going to fight you and everything, but... I can't do it right now. There's a wreck by the side of the road surrounded by gore, blood, and corpses of a man and two children. Oh, that's really terrible. Evidently, you're in raider territory. Let's investigate the wreck. You discover several discarded pieces of clothing, presumably belonging to the mother of this family. There's no sign of her. The raiders probably took her. Um, sure, we'll bury these people and do the honorable thing here. While it takes you some time, the decent thing to do is to give these people a place to rest. Eventually, you finish and prepare to head out. Eh, you know. Not every story is a happy ending, and that's one of them right there. Um, 16 fuel. Okay, we still have... Yeah, I'm starting to worry about my fuel a little bit here. But my... My... <laughs> my thirst for, you know, questing is actually overtaking that right now. We're down to 4 fuel. That's pretty scary. You see a col... You see a colonia in the distance. Fine guy's cousin to distribute the plague here. The cure distribution begins immediately. You and your crew also get shots just to be safe. The people of Colonia are glad you helped them and declare you to be local heroes. No problem, guys. Guy's cousin approaches you and hands you 90 scrap. We all pitched in, he says. Thank him. All right, so we're, we're up to 125, which is pretty good. But the thing is, we only have four fuel. Nearest camp is down 106 that way. We can't make it. We have to go to this um, side objective and hope for a fight to get some fuel. Otherwise, we're a little bit screwed here. Yeah, we'll fight these attackers for sure, because they should have some fuel anyway for us. Alrighty, let's move you down this way. What do we have here? Uh, two shields, three non-shields. That's okay. So, we'll attack you and move up. Attack you, move up. Move up, and then attack him. There we go. And we have... Uh oh missile down this way, huh? Actually, let's just stay you there, and then you move down this way. And then my melee unit could attack him, and also melee him. Let's go ahead and um, use an EMP on this guy just to stun him for a bit there. Bring up our shields, and then we will also, if we can, drop a mine right there. Perfect. Hit him again. Excellent. Alrighty, one down. Let us switch over to this guy. We'll bring down the shields through here. Boom. Boom. You come down this way. And we will focus on that guy, I guess we can. And then, boom. Alrighty, that's the kill. Let's bring you down a little bit here. And you focus on him. Uh-uh, no, don't move. Don't move, bro. I'm trying to melee you. There you go. Attack him, attack him. And then this guy is about to go down. We could bring EMP on this guy. We'll hold off on a little bit here. We'll toss a mine on this guy. There he is. Dead to the world. EMP. And might as well stun him for a second, too. And there you go. Bring you down this side. Boom, boom. Uh oh. Move out of the way, my friend. There you go. Perfect. Oh shit, we have two um, hazards down this way. We might as well move all the way down through here. You might as well move back as well. Ooh, that was actually a close one. Um, EMP. EMP. And throw the last mine. Why not? Boomski. Convoy got a kill. Alrighty. 11 fuel, 33, and we got another cannon. That's a shitty one, but that's okay. We could sell it for a little bit extra scrap, and that's okay. Alrighty. So we're at 14. We still want to go to the side objective, though, because we're still missing a little bit of fuel to get to our objectives. A signal is coming from a garage situated in a desert. A broken down neon sign reads Caesar's Chop Shop. Let's investigate it. Upon heading inside, you spot a gray haired man. He's busy dissembling parts left and right, whilst bobbing his head and drumming on whatever he's got his hands on to a rhythm only he can hear. It sounds pretty catchy. Let's go ahead and <laughs> just come in there and shoot him. Let's talk to the guy. 
Caesar looks up and approaches you and says, New face, welcome. What can I offer? What can I do for you? Um, let's talk business, bro. Running a shop shop here, talking business is easy. I fix up armor, it's what I do best. Taking a look at the stuff you got outside, you could possibly use some fixing. I'll fix it up except the big one. How does 10 scrap sound for the lot? Oh man, that sounds amazing. Yeah, go ahead. Fix everything for 10. Alright, so he fixes a little of our armor. While Caesar uh, met that seems a bit unorthodox, he successfully manages to get the job done. After some time, he looks satisfied and turns to you. Nice, enjoy that. Pleasure doing business with you. Don't get shot at too soon. Alright, well at least he fixed up our, you know, our shields for 10. It wasn't fuel, but it was alright. We have another side objective here. Nearest camp is down that way. Where is the bottle cap recover? 73 down this way. Can we make it there with 12 fuel? Maybe. Let's give it a try. So we'll have to go down through this way. And down down through here, right? Alrighty. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> we don't have enough fuel. We're down to two. And we're out of fuel. Alrighty. You've broadcasted your emergency signal for some time when you see thick black smoke billowing in the distance. Oh dear. You managed to fend them off, but not without suffering damage. We lost a lot of health, by the way. That's a lot of health loss. We were kind of filled up, and right now, oof. Well, um... We still have no fuel. Your frustration regarding your out-of-fuel predicament grows. Stomping around furiously, you kick against the side of your main convoy vehicle. Stupid pile of rust! A panel breaks off, revealing a hidden cache of nine fuel! After the initial surprise, you order your crew to get your convoy ready to move. You make a mental note to tell your commanding officer back at the spaceship to inform you of these things onwards. Okay, we have nine fuel now. We'll check out the bottle cap recover. Your bottle cap adventure leads you to a new location. Here goes. You found a man who claims to be a collector of bodies. Uh, from your bottle caps, the man's eyes light up greedily. It turns out he is, in fact, looking for a large amount of bottle caps. Damn. Wait, what? You are offered two vehicles for your bottle caps. Two vehicles? Holy shit. Um, well, unfortunately, what we're looking for is fuel, which you're not offering me right now. I mean, at this point, like, I feel like all my vehicles are maxed out for the most part. Quad coffin sounds pretty cool, but, um, you know, <laughs> I think we're doing okay already as it is. So unless I can take your weapon, nope, abandon. And Turbo Dog. And I would love that shield MK3, but I can't take it. It's really unfortunate. So, two vehicles, none of them that we could actually use because I already have my vehicles that I want to like, that I actually like and, you know, use profusely. Uh, that was a waste of my time, to say the least. Alrighty, well, that's all the side objectives. At this point, we go to the um, drop-off point, which is the Spaceship Mercury, 117 on this way. Ah, we don't have the fuel for it. So, <laughs> nearest camp. 114 down this way. We have to go down that way. I know we're using more fuel by going through the mountain area, but... Alright, so we have another event here. You've broadcasted your emergency signal for some time when suddenly you spawn a dust cloud approaching in the distance. Um, let's go ahead and open the radio channels here. You open your radio channels. It doesn't take long for the dust cloud to contact you. They appear to be civilian vehicles. Oh, good, good. Civilians. Hey, help me out. Greetings, strangers. Down your luck, huh? We heard your emergency signal and decided to have a look. You're the guys who got here on the last busted spaceship, right? We heard about your actions in these lands. How about we give you 15 fuel to help you back on your way? Oh, please, thank you. My good deeds are finally being rewarded. Finally, somebody's taking note and being like, you know what? Falcon, you've done a good thing on this land. It doesn't matter if you're intoxicated or not, if you're a drunk asshole, but... You've done some good things, here is some saving grace, so yeah, yeah, sounds great, thanks. I could blast them a bit when they've come into range, oh my god, no, 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 I'm being a good guy. Sounds great, thanks. The civilians' vehicles deposit the fuel into your convoy, pleasure to help, we ought to look out for each other on the planet of, like, Omeg Prime. Thanks, goodbye. Thanks, now die. Oh, no, 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 thank you for saving me. I'm not gonna be a dick. Okay. So. Flux capacitor down this way, but what we want to do is actually get to the um, nearest camp, which is down this way. If we could get there, we could probably use some of our fuel, heal ourselves up, and then finally come down to the Spaceship Mercury for the last final showdown. So, 
I'm thinking we come down this way right now. We just want to get to the camp as soon as possible. We've done all the side objectives, right? We totally have. Wow. I forgot that we had. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually pretty goddamn intoxicated right now. <laughs> but um, as long as you guys can't tell the difference, it's okay. Boom. 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 We'll go up to 27. We have 98 left over. That's pretty good. We still have a buzzsaw for sale. Not going to buy that, but I'm going to sell the 60 millimeter. We're up to 115 again. Let's leave the camp. We will do... Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I leave that area. I want to still do some healing, dog. Repair. Repair. No, nope, repair. Healed. 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 Boom. And boom. We're down to 45. Everybody seems to be healed fully, I want to say. 27 fuel to get back home and fight the last boss. I think that's actually pretty worth it. Um, we have no more side objectives. There's nothing really else for us to do at this point, so we're down to 45 scrap. <clears throat> we might as well return and see if there's any other leveling we could do. I'd really doubt it at this point, but your health's max. I'm not going to level up your armor. It's pointless. Same predicament here. And we could do more armor on you. One more, as a matter of fact. Or some health. We could do one, two, and health. That would bring you up from a thousand to one. It's actually like... You know, half of your health right there alone. We could do that. Or. Or. One. And two. So, if I was to help hook you up, what are you looking at here? Armor piercing 70 to 65. And. 250 more HP. I want to say it's worth it for my melee unit. So, yeah. I'll do that. Return. We're down to five scrap. 27 fuel. Let's leave camp. And. You know what time it is? It's time for the final boss fight, I'm going to say, because there's nothing else we, could t we can do at this point. And I feel Spaceship Mercury is kind of down our pan, we have 27 fuel to get to there. I'm going to try to avoid any fights along the way, so if I run away from anything, I apologize, but I'm trying to get there as soon as possible with as much health as possible. You come across the KGL Trading Company caravan heading the other way. Since these are relatively safe lands, they seem to lack any armed envoy. Hmm. Well, we could be good guys, we could be dicks. I am going to be a dick. I'm going to blast them. You open fire and blast the KGL transport vehicles to smithereens. A handful of crew members have escaped their vehicles and are fearfully awaited their fate. We could capture them, shoot them, leave them be and loot the wrecks and leave this place. I am going to go ahead and capture them. You capture them and ponder their fate. You could sell them at a slave market or put them to work on your convoy, freeing up some parts. Considering your provisions actions, they might hold up some grudges, however. <clears throat> so, I could sell them. If I put them to work, they might be a little bit angry, so they might be, like, you know, trying to ambush me or some bullshit like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them to work. You put them to work on your convoy, freeing up 44 scrap to put other use. Loot the remaining wrecks, and we found heavy plasma canning, heavy pulse laser and shield MK3. Holy shit. Go back really quickly here for a second. Oh my lord. 60 scrap, 54. This is quite possibly the best event of all time. We have another shield MK3. I'm pretty sure right now that one of you guys could use an upgrade. You have shield MK1 and 3. Return. I'm pretty sure everybody has a 3, but... MP3, yep. No, 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 don't, don't leave. Go back to the camp. Go back to the camp right now. You are 3 as well. Return. And I'm pretty sure you have a 3 as well, right? Absolutely you do. Okay. So we really have, we have one extra 3. We could use, sell it for 67 and buy some more upgrades. Which we kind of don't really need too much, I would say. Or, we could equip it on this dude, and suddenly he's got two MK3 shields. Do they stack? I'm not sure. I have to imagine they do, though. So, two MK3s on Ashley. We will sell MK1 for 22 scrap. And suddenly we have Heavy Pulse Laser. Very effective against health, does nothing against armor. And, very effective against armor does relatively little to health. 54 and 60, if I'm right. So, 
This one right here is for armor, or for health. And this one's over here for armor. So uh, we have an armor unit, which is going to be you if I'm right, right? Um, fuck X is our armor unit. So you have heavy plasma cannon, 54, 37. You do how much? You do 2.3 and 2.3, 2 and 2, 25 and 25. And so we want this one for sure. 2.5 and 2.5, 25 and 25, and yeah. So I'm thinking we equip here. So, oh wow, we have two of the same one. So we have two heavy plasma cannons on this guy, which both of them do amazing damage against armor, so yeah. Fuck X is our armor unit, remember. Falcon, remember that. I know you're a little bit intoxicated right now, but still. This is our armor unit. We come over here and we have... Very effective against health. So, 4 and 0, 45 and 2, reload 5, reload 4, bigger version of the human laser. So we could use you for sure, or we could come over here. And we could sell you, 52, 52, 20. So I'm thinking we sell the light pulse laser, and we equip the heavy pulse laser, which is obviously an upgrade right there alone, and we have the... Heavy Plasma Blaster left over, which is going to be an armor weapon. So, we can sell this for 37, or we can equip it on somebody else. So right now we have two armor units right here, or two health units anyway. Um, what about you? What do you have here? Hmm, health. More than likely armor. So we sell this one for 37, we're up to 128. We return, and what we do is we do some leveling at this point. Um, you're fine for now. You are also fine for now. We could do some armor, but it's kind of useless at this point. You could use a little bit of health and armor. We could do both of them. What do you got? More armor? We could do two armors on you, and then for the convoy, we could do... Armor. Armor. Not enough for health. But almost there. Oh boy, we confirm it, and that's it. We return, we will buy... No, no, I think we're fine. We leave camp. We leave camp, and we're, I think we're fine. We're going to go down to the um, Spaceship Mercury at this point. We have 23 field, 38 scrap. Is that anybody for anybody to level up? I don't think so. Let's come down here. And I'm going to save up a little bit of scrap just in case we get into a fight on the way. What we could do is try to get into the camp and try to get into the camp before we fight the last boss like we did the last time. There is a um, side objective here which I will probably try to grab. You come across a lone man wearing what seems to be a sandwich sign. Um, we'll approach him. It turns out the man was wearing explosives underneath the sandwich sign as he apparently blew up in range. Oh, god damn it, we took damage? Bullshit. Okay, whatever. Thanks a lot, game. You approach a radio signal. It sounds like an emergency broadcast. Let's go ahead and head over to them. We will power up weapons and blast everyone. We'll hear them out. Uh, they want 30 fuel, which we don't have. Let's go ahead and kill the, the convoy over here. Let's investigate the wrecks. And we found a super heavy railgun, which is a weapon. It's a weapon for the convoy. Holy shit. That's one of the best weapons I think I've heard for the convoy. We might have lucked out tremendously right now. What we need to do is find a camp and equip this as soon as possible, which is down bound to X-ray or go back down to the Spaceship Mercury. If we could get into the Mercury without actually triggering the fight, we could potentially equip this, but we're almost out of fuel. So chances are we probably won't. There it is again. You spot a dust cloud in the distance. I'm going to go ahead and radio them. It's a KGL. Um, we, yeah, we have money to buy fuel. We could buy 18 for 30. Or 15 or 9 for 15. I'm going to go 9. I think we could do it with 9, right? Because I want to save up a little bit of scrap to actually sell, to heal up. So yeah, we're going to buy 9 for 15. Thank you. 